Hey y'all, it's Kasia and today I'm going to be doing this little double braid that you saw before. So I'm starting out with my old hair from the tutorial I did before. I'll go ahead and link that up above. It was just two braids going straight back. So what I'm going to be doing is just going ahead and parting my hair on the side. Um, just to get it to the position where I want my two braids to sit. I kind of want the one braid to really kind of sit in my face. So I'm doing somewhat of a deep side part. So I'm just going ahead and trying to get that part as straight as possible. And then in the back it's going to kind of lean more to, towards one side. So my part is going to be kind of like a swivel type of thing going on. Yeah so it's going to kind of start on one side and then swivel around and then end on the other side. I mean end on the same side but it's going to like swivel around in the back. So y'all going to see that um, right here. And yeah I'm just going to comb my hair in. Um, since I used so much product when I did my braid the first time a few days ago, I'm just not really going to be using very many products because I have a lot of product in my hair already. So if you don't, you can just go ahead and use Murray's like I did last time. I'm only going to be adding a little bit of product. But I'm just really going to be brushing my hair to the position where I want my braid to sit. I both want both of my braids to sit closer towards the edges of my hair. Um, I'm using this tool that I got from um joanne's fabrics and i did i put set my hair out from the smallest piece of hair to the largest piece of hair i'm using some cream of nature edge control to go ahead and do my edges and then i'm going to start off braiding so y'all know how to do a um feed in braid already if y'all don't i'll go ahead and leave my feed in braid tutorial up above if y'all think that one is a little outdated let me know in the um, comment section below and i'll do an updated version so basically i'm just going to be starting braiding my hair adding a, the smallest piece underneath braiding a little bit backwards just one stitch backwards and then bringing that piece underneath and then i'm going to add the next biggest piece underneath my pointer finger braid one stitch backwards and when I get back to that piece I'm going to add that one underneath and add another piece right underneath that so I'm just going to continue to do that all the way back until I run out of hair and you're going to see that So at this point, I'm done braiding and I went ahead and added a rubber band. So I'm just going to start with my other side of hair. I'm going to be combing that into the position that I need it to be so that I can braid it right. So because I want it really close to my edges and I want the front part to kind of sit right on top of my edges in the front, I'm going to go ahead and comb all my hair down and forward. So I did the same thing, but I left three extra pieces um, and I'm saving those for the end so that the braids can end up being the same length because if you don't wrap, um, the braid has to wrap all the way around. If you don't save um, three pieces for the end, your braid won't be the same length. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead, start braiding, doing the exact same thing that I did to the other side. It's the same braid, just going in the opposite direction. So yeah, I'm just going to keep adding bigger pieces as I go along. What I did with this side is I used smaller pieces. So I used the same amount of hair for both of the braids, but I used smaller pieces for the beginning part of this braid. So as you can see, they're not as thick as what I did on the other side because I do want the braid to be a little smaller right in, on the beginning and then I want it to get bigger as it gets towards the side of my face. Since the braid on the side was already on the side of my face, I went thicker 
faster. So you're just going to see that here. Um, I'm going to be combing and adding Murray's as I go along to make sure that my hair um, kind of slicks inside of my braid because y'all know my hair is cut really blunt. So yeah, just keep braiding down and I'm not going to fast forward this part, but I'm just going to stop talking and put some music on. So yeah, keep watching. Shout out to my daddy, he a real nigga Show me more than like than just to kill niggas Fuck a nine to five cause I can't deal nigga I'ma get my own shit cause I can build niggas I'm grinding my nigga, I shine on you niggas, ain't fucking with me I promise my haters, I know I'ma make it, I swear you gon' see Mama taught me you ain't gotta make it work Don't you never let these niggas ever see you hurt They don't wanna see you make it, rather see you hurt Believe in God and he gon' help you make it work Been through so much shit, I'll make a loser Need me a new world so I can cruise her Need me a new house so I can cool her Closer with the game, you know we cool her Okay, so at this point, the braids are the same length, and I'm just going to go ahead and slick down the little pieces that are kind of bulking up. So, y'all know I'm just going to put the product on there. I use um, Cream and Nature Edge Control, and I'm going to comb that down and use the end of my red tail comb to tuck that underneath my braid. And I'm going to go ahead and do that on both sides. If you can braid your real hair really tight, you probably won't have to worry about this. But since I can't braid my real hair super tight, I have to do this step. And it also makes the um, ended product of the hairstyle look really neat. So yeah, I'm just going to do that until it's um, neat and nice like how I like it to look. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the rollers on the ends of my hair. So I'm twisting it around as if it was like a wand type of curl. So yeah, I'm just going to do two. And I'm going to end up, I, and I do dip my entire braid as much as I can into the water just in case you all were wondering. Okay, so I dipped my hair and what I'm going to be doing is using this purple stretchy string to um, wrap my braids together. So I'm going to be using a crochet needle to go through the middle of both of my braids and then I'm going to grab the purple string with the crochet needle and I'm going to be bringing that in half and then I'm going to close it and bring it through. So once I bring it through, I'm going to bring one in to the other side and make them even. And then once I do that, I'm just going to wrap it around, bring it, bring it through, switch them, like flip them around, then um, wrap them around again, bring them through the middle, flip them around, wrap them around, 
flip them, then bring them around again. And I'm just going to do that all the way until I run out. And what I was really going for was trying to stop by my rubber bands. And I ended up doing exactly that, luckily. So I went ahead and undid my rollers. They were in for about five minutes. They didn't completely dry. Um, but that's fine. And then I went ahead and tied them where my rubber bands were. So then I used another string. Honestly, I used purple because I got this off of some weave real ghetto. I know if y'all want to find some, y'all could probably find it at y'all local beauty supply store or Joann's Fabric or Michael's or Walmart or something like that. So anyway, I'm going to use my other piece. I'm going to keep it in half and I'm going to kind of tie it around and then wrap it. Until I've completely wrapped where my rubber band is and have like a thick band. So I pretty much used it until it all um, till it was all used up. I used the whole length of it. So once I finished, I went ahead and just tucked one end under and then tied them together and then cut the end off. And then Okay, so it, at this point, I began separating my curls and I just like pulled them out randomly so that they could be kind of big. And this is how it looked. Um, you could left, you could leave it like this, or you could add these little gold jewels like I did. I went ahead and added the one that dangles right in the middle of my forehead, and then I added some gold ones kind of randomly all over where I just thought that it could use a little bit dazzling. You know what I'm saying? So other than that, that was it. I hope y'all like this look. I hope y'all like this tutorial. Make sure y'all give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And another video will be coming to y'all very soon. Consistent videos all 2018. Hey, May gang.